Okay, so I'm continuing to get the part inside the shadow filled in, so where those words are going over top of the shadow. Being careful, like I mentioned, to stay within the borders of the shadow, so you're not changing the shape of it. Holding the Alt key and then clicking somewhere to get my sample and then drawing. And remember if I pick up my mouse then it'll sample from what I just drew as well. Okay, and once I do that part inside the shadow, then I'm going to work outside the shadow, make my brush a little smaller, and then just making sure once again that I get the colors to match up, that it doesn't look overly patterned, and that I'm covering all of the words. Okay, so you continue to do that around the shadows and make sure you space, pay special attention to the edges. Now we're going to go up to this top right corner. We're going to talk about this watermark. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Before I start working on that, I'm going to make another new layer. I'm going to name this one Clone Stamp Tool, so just CST um, Sky. So I know that this is where I'm working on the sky, in case I have any specific problems with that layer. Click on that layer, make sure I'm still on current and below with my clone stamp tool. Make the tool a little bigger. Now, what you want to pay attention to with skies is that you kind of continue the patterns that you see. So see how these clouds kind of go across, they're very flat and horizontal. I'm going to try and keep that going. So, this cloud, for example, kind of want to continue it all the way through. And make sure that color in the middle is about the same, too. So, pay attention to what the patterns are in the sky already and try to keep it similar. Remember, you don't want it to become over-patterned. You want to follow what you're seeing, make it look naturalistic. Sample from different areas if you need to, to get some different looks there. Okay, and just continue on with that. So the first part of this project is to get rid of all of these words down here and this watermark in the sky and to make it look as naturalistic as possible.